This is the Panopticon Expedition 2013. Hope it's about a success. I have canoed from my house. I did not attempt to go across Jack's Point. The current's too bad and I drug across there. It's smoother in here. This is the first cove of the five. If you look at Fort Point Cove, it looks like somebody chopped their fingers off. The Pinky Cove is Grant's Cove, where we live. This cove has no name. I call it Jack's Cove. That's where the architects built their, their new place. Pretty nice. The point you see is French's Point, formerly known as Hershey Retreat, formerly known as French's Point. And the cove on the other side of this is Devereaux Cove. That's where the shipwreck is supposed to be. The next cove beyond that has no name. I call it Osprey Reach. <coughs> that's because that's the people who put the road in there. 911 named it Osprey Reach. And so I'm going to take a break. It only took me 20 minutes to get around there, but it almost killed me. This is a pretty nice place to stop. See this timber? can tell what poles were lashed to it. There, there, oops, on down. Plus there's a lot of granite in here, man-made. You can see it right there. See where they drilled out to blow it. Can I zoom in? Yep, zoomed in. And over here, you see where 21st century man left his pill bottle. Not left in there, washed ashore. A lot of granite around here. There's a lot of old, some of these trees have been cut for view, but I think it's illegal, but I'd do it too. Oh, there's some ducks. I can't really get the ducks. This, um, we're doing this on a budget. But I'm gonna take five, have some coffee, and see if I, the key is get in the protected area. I'm gonna go down a little farther and cut across, and then, go back in to where I stopped the other day. See you later. Here we are at Devereaux Cove. If you look very hard beyond Jack's American flag on the point, you will see our upstairs attic window. So that is, oh, down there, there. That is how far I have traveled. Didn't take that long. I'm gonna go a lot farther than I thought. It's only been an hour. I told Honey three. Here is, I think, the outcroppings of rocks. I don't know which one was the flat rock they used for the data, but I think that's it. So it should be 50, 48 something feet. I forgot out there. I can't see it. I don't know if you can see the water. It's high tide and this area is covered right here. That's about a foot under. I just traveled right through there with my trusty canoe. Pretty, very pretty. God bless America. So I'm going to travel on. I'm going to look around here a little bit. See what I could find. More erosion. Breaks my heart and then up around the bend. Later. See that house? The balconies. We rented that one year. Mr. Foley. It was electric heat in the Shenandoah wood stove. That winter the heat was a thousand dollars and the wood stove was a little hot. Bank is over his head, over to his sister. Down that one. Here we go. Well, there's her to retreat up there. You can't see anymore. But we're at French's Point. That's home. So I'm going to take a break. That's home actually. And call honey.
see if I can get permission. I mean, I see tell her I'm going for her. I am sitting at the north east side of Fort Point Cove. We live on the northwest side. Directly across from me is an abandoned trailer which marks the way for the old Indian carrying ground of the Mill Pond. It's a straight shot through here. The Indians went that way as opposed to trying to get down through across Fort Point or the bay itself. Faustina Hitchborn said in her history that Indians traveled unvexed from the origins of the Penobscot to the mouth. Well, maybe so, but when they got to that bay, they got vexed because that current's pretty powerful. And I think they come down through here and hug these coves like I did, each finger, until they got to Jack's Point and shot across, and then they come back the same way. So they should be some sort of Indian artifacts in those bushes, trees, and banks. But I'm not going to find them. <laughs> I'm going up river. I don't know what they call that boathouse, but I call it awesome. I'm in the Sandy Point. I'm at the mouth of the Penobscot River. And I'm out of the back of Penobscot Bay. I'm gonna try to make it to the beach. You can see the piers there. Highlands, right there. And I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna pull in there. I'm tired. Took me two hours, but I made it. Well, I'm at the end of the line for today. I'm at Sandy Point Beach. That is the Penobscot Narrows Bridge. And I'm gonna try to get up in there and see if I can find a good place to leave it. to be a, not a park, just a place people came and they turned it into a park. It's pretty nice. I like it. Good place to start my first trip. Good place to start the second one. Penobscot Expedition 2013.